I used to wake up in the morning and, and sort of have like a like a panic about I don't know where we are I feel very disorientating but now I just sort of wake up and I feel at home I, I enjoy that feeling of not knowing what's going to happen tomorrow I think that's a way more exciting way to live than knowing exactly what you're going to do every day yeah So it was pretty cool when we like first like got into Galicia because we had been driving down through France quite quickly and it was, it was quite bland and then when we just sort of hit the first big mountains it, it was amazing and then it, it just carried on like that for days and days of just spectacular scenery. Simon and Dee left everything behind them to live an unusual lifestyle. In this film, they are talking about their experiences and their motivation. Well, when we were working, we would just, just get up, you'd go to work, come home, you'd do it five days a week and have two days off at the weekend and, I don't know, just spend, just spend all of your life thinking about work and when you've got to go to work next. I think that's just like people don't see an alternative. I think like the society we live in, that's the way it works. You have to earn money. It's just all about earning money and spending money. That's like the purpose of life. And I think people don't realize that there is an alternative. They just don't see it as an option. Like Yeah. Or well, it's just like it's the way everyone lives and it's it's kind of easy to live like that and everyone else does it. So and today you don't even think about it, do you? When we started uni, because we went to uni together, we talked about living in a van then, but I don't think we realised it would be so easy. So we didn't. We rented houses for four years. And, yeah. You know, I wish we'd just done it sooner. And Yeah, we just didn't think it was an option. Like I'd even heard of a guy who was doing it when I was at uni, and I thought, oh, he's crazy. <laughs> like I used to think like that, but, yeah... We've changed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like we just decided that working full time wasn't really for us, like spending all of our time just trying to earn money to pay bills and pay rent wasn't really how we wanted to spend our life. So we thought there's an alternative, we can have more free time and yeah, that's why we got the van. I think it feels like a big risk because you're kind of giving up like comfort and convenience of what you get with a house and like the stability of a job. So, yeah, it is a bit of a risk, but, like, we've realised that you just get used to it yeah. and you just live differently. But, like, lots of people that we've met who've heard about what we're doing say, I wish I could do something like that. Like, people would like to, but they just don't see it as a realistic option. But, yeah, we've realised that it is. You can do it. Anyone can do it. <laughs> At first, it was a big change, like, it, it felt really different moving out of a house into a van, but after, like, one or two weeks, it was just comfortable. It's just, it doesn't feel like we're, yeah, living on the edge or anything like that. It just feels like comfortable day-to-day -day lifestyle. I think, like, people don't realise how quickly you can get used to something new. Like Yeah. Yeah. I think also people don't realise living in our van, it's not much different to living in a house. Yeah. It's, it's a bit smaller. You haven't got loads of water, but, I don't know, you haven't got loads of rooms to hoover and <laughs> yeah. tidy up and, 
But a lot of people just like they just asked us about all the problems you might encounter. They they wouldn't like focus on all the great things that might happen. They were, well, what if you, I don't know, run out of water? Where will you get your water from? And, yeah, a lot. Yeah. A lot of people tended to sort of focus on the negative things that might happen. And yeah, we just knew that it was yeah. the right thing for us. And like as sort of as every day went past, you yeah. sort of got more confident in knowing. It just feels right. It's just, yeah. Now, uh, like before we left, we had to get rid of so much stuff. Like, because yeah, when we were in a house and we had endless storage, we just collected so much. But yeah, when we moved into the van, we were like, simplify our lives, get rid of things. A relief, a massive yeah. relief. Yeah. We yeah. still got boxes of stuff at home, <laughs> yeah, sort of at my parents' nice. house, and I, I don't know if we'll ever use it again. I mean, it, it feels really good to have less things to worry yeah. about. Whenever you go somewhere, you meet people from all around the world, and yeah, that's, that's really nice. That's something that I didn't sort of come across in my everyday life, sort of working nine to five. I don't know, a lot of people seem quite outgoing, and. I think that's quite inspirational because a lot of people that you meet on the road have got a lot of stories to tell you and that's quite interesting. Yeah, we're, we're not particularly deep people. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't think we're, well, I don't think we're searching for anything really. I think we just want to, you know, go to some new places and experience different things. And Yeah, it's just all about experiences, just new experiences and meeting people from all different countries, from different backgrounds. Yeah, just more opportunities to do that if you're traveling. So, yeah. There's not really much more to it than just, you know, just trying to have fun in our life. Yeah. Yeah. Do some new things. So to save money for travelling, we moved out of our house and we both had full-time jobs while we were living in the van. So each month, you know, we would get paid and all that money that would normally go on rent and bills, we were just saving. So we saved and saved and, yeah, now that's sort of funding our travelling. But living in a van, it's just, yeah, so cheap. Like, our only outgoings are, you know, the fuel to run it and food and, you know, a few beers every now and then. Um, yeah, so it's just a cheap way to live. I think the thing that makes it most affordable is we're living a really, like, cheap life. We've got a very tight budget. We haven't been out for a meal yet, so we, we do all our cooking in our van to save money. And Yeah, we don't really, like, buy things. If we go to a place, we don't, you know, like, buy souvenirs or anything like that. So we crossed over from the UK to mainland Europe, we did the Dover Calais crossing. We've just driven down through France and then the northern part of Spain and down into Portugal. Yeah, so uh, we went to Galicia. Um, there we did lots of like swimming in rivers, we visited beaches and like some hiking in like the national parks. Uh, that was really cool. Like Galicia is really beautiful, like just the most amazing scenery yeah, I've ever definitely. ever come across. <laughs> Yeah, we have a blog which is www.wildvan.com <laughs> and um, yeah we're just like documenting like our experiences and where we're going and what we're doing like, we're both like trying things that we never did before like drawing and yeah writing playing music like yeah it's a bit of photography and yeah, yeah it's definitely opened up our creativity <laughs> yeah yeah it's yeah. just so nice to have the time to you know say oh today I'm just gonna sit around and let's do something creative. The only plans for like our route so far is we want to spend the winter in Morocco 
So that's, uh, that's sort of our only real plan. I think we'd probably try and spend Christmas there. Yeah, it's like, I feel like one day I'd like to visit everywhere, like all over the world. There isn't anywhere that I don't want to go. I don't know, the only like message is just about like how we do believe that anyone can do it. Like that, that is it really, just because I just think lots of people don't realise that there is an alternative way to live and you have to be a bit creative about it. You have to come up with like a different way of living. But yeah. It's amazing how quickly you can get used to a change and yeah I think like if you feel unhappy in the way you're living then you should go for it and take a risk because well if you don't then you'll never know so yeah. yeah. And you don't even have to make a, a drastic change like moving out of your house and selling all your stuff just making small changes in your life. It can make your life a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.